Hey guys, Super Mom Six here. No. Um. Okay. So today, I am going to be putting together my own diaper sprayer. What the heck is this on my face? <laughs> okay. So yeah, I went to Lowe's and Walmart and picked up the supplies that I need, which I will be showing you in a minute. And this is the toilet that I will be doing it on. This is the piece in the back, what it looks like. And what I am doing first is I'm going to turn off the water supply. After I turn off the water supply, I'm gonna flush the toilet to drain all the water. Probably flush it multiple times um, to make sure that it's empty and no water's coming from it. Then that hose that I just showed you, I'm going to unscrew that and then build my hose and then reattach it and then show you guys the finished product. So, let's see how this okay, goes. Okay, so I ordered my products offline so that I could pick them up in store and this is what I got. I got the three uh, eighths of an inch crimp teeth which is this right here it looks like the can't see it through the bag looks like that and then i got three of the two count number four clamps which are these a quarter to five eighths of an inch they look just like that I got three two packs and then I got three uh, eighths of an inch bowl valve which would be this to shut the water on and off and I also got the toilet supply line looks like that on one end and that on the other end everything total came to eighteen dollars and eighty two cents lastly I got the hose from Walmart deluxe sink spray ho head with hose and this was ten dollars and 97 cents I believe and all you'll need with this is a screwdriver maybe a wrench a flathead screwdriver maybe a wrench if not you could just tighten with your hand but it would be better to use a wrench to make sure that there's no leaking and something sharp to cut with because we'll be cutting this in half and that's so, it. So with these two pieces, what you're going to do is cut this one right here directly in half. Again, this is the toilet supply line. And this is the spray hose. You're going to cut this part right here as close to that as you can. You want to cut that right off and leave that open. And then you want to go up, spread it out. and then cut that directly in half. About right there. Yes. You could leave it a little bit lower so that you can have some playroom for the spray hose as well. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say completely in half. I would say about maybe... But you already said cut it in half. Shut your mouth. Okay, how, how many about inches from her to like my finger, you think? If you open it, I can open it with one hand. About 12 inches? No, that's more than 12 inches. 16 inches maybe? Yeah. A little bit closer. Like right here. Yeah, I'll just cut that in half. It's not half. Is there a I got a baby in here <laughs> playing in supplies. But uh, yeah, so you're going to need five of the clamps. Again, your crimp tee. This is what I cut off of the spray hose and your bowl valve. <laughs> Sorry. 
so what we're gonna do is this is the two pieces of the toilet supply line and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna attach the crimp tee right here in the middle like that and before you slide this in you're gonna have to put one of these on each side make sure when you put these on that you keep the screws at the back end so that when you go to tighten this part the screws aren't in your way like that you want to make sure that they're at the back so you go ahead and put these in and I'll come back once this is on and tighten so once you're done tightening that and putting those on it'll look like this next you want to get the hose piece can you stop making animals <laughs> out of your shadow on, <laughs> on the camera what is that you are so childish it looks like an upside down bird <laughs> get out the light so you want to take the piece that has nothing on it and go ahead and again put a clamp on the hose and put that here. I'll be back once that piece is on. You want to set it time? All right. This is now on and tight. Everything's together. Next, we are going to take the other piece of the hose with both empty pieces and we're going to attach the ball valve there and there again using the two clamps clamp on each hose and then attach the ball valve and tighten don't forget to tell them you'll be back after so. I'll be back guys I'll be back see 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 this, <laughs> see, this is <laughs> who's seen Terminator <laughs> that's not Terminator Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh. Who says it? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> you can't feel me. You, you, you can't feel me. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be back. All right, guys. This is the complete project. So this is gonna go on the part toilet. from the the valve. The the toilet valve. The toilet valve. From the wall. From the wall. This one's going to go to the tank part of the toilet, the bottom of the tank. And all these are all screwed on tight. So she thinks. I'll slap you. Here is my bowl valve. Everything's nice and tight here. Turn the water on and off. <laughs> so she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> and my spray hose. We're gonna now attach it to the toilet and guys so here is the completed project. Got the toilet supply line on and connected. The water is turned on. Got pressure. This is the old toilet supply line that was on. Sorry my daughter's kicking the top right now. <laughs> Um, and this one is one that you guys, it would be very, very difficult to use one of these ones. They are with metal and they are braided. So make sure that the supply line that you get is the PVC and it's the plastic one, the plastic hose. Um, and then you can just go ahead and turn your valve on there and spray away. So I'm going to show you guys how it's working. Okay, so this is the pressure turned all the way on. It's pretty strong. So, turn it back off when you're done and then spray out the excess water and hang it up or hang it in your tub and you're done. That's how you make a diaper sprayer, guys. I put this together for less than $30.